this, it's a Volkswagen Golf. And it doesn't have a check engine light, okay? Today, I'll be showing you some quirks and features and some other things which I'm gonna copy from other YouTubers. Let's start it, okay? So, it has one of these. It's very exciting. And you can unlock it. And inside it is fully optioned leather, um, electric seats with lumbar support. Um, it's got the old navigation system, which I can show you. It's like three colors in total. Look at that. Navigation. It's all three colors and it's not touch screen. You got to use this knob, which looks like somebody like scratching it. Um, what else? It's got cup holders, which aren't for cups. CD player, which takes up all the storage you need. So you can only use the doors. It's got a hole in the dash if you're ever bored, which I might electrocute myself with. Um, it's the automatic six speed, which is broken. And it's got the two liter FSI four cylinder engine, naturally aspirated, 150 horsepower. So it's the same engine as the GTI from the Mark V, just without a turbo, which I can show you now. Look at that! That's it. Oh, stick. That's awesome. Um, blinker fluid. Uh, another liquid. Um, so in the R32 engine, uh, the R32 version, you could get a V6 which was the R at the time, the most powerful. Then you could get a GTI, which was this engine with a turbo. And then this was the most powerful non-sporty engine. And then you could get other less power diesels and four cylinders and gas. All right, now moving to the back. See, this is a German car, they're not, then there aren't that many quirks and features. I just sat on my phone. Um, leg space, it's like behind my driving position, like all car reviewers do, they tap their knees. Um, it's got electric seats all around, auto electric, uh, not seats, windows all around, which my Jeep doesn't have, but only has auto windows in the front. Um, it's got an armrest, squishy. We've got cup holders here. So either you get cups or a third person. Air vents, no heated seats in the back, but the front ones are heated. And I have to turn the contact off or it'll die. All right. um, moving to the back. As you can see, it has aftermarket lights. Since the previous owner, it got hit by his kid. So you put these. Put the Golf 2 liter FSI. Oh, yeah. It, just, it uses a lot of fuel. And you can uh, fit maybe one person. Dead one. A dead one, they don't really complain, I heard. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's cozy. It's got a nice crack, probably from putting a dead body inside. That's nice. Um, and something with most Volkswagens is you open it through here, like that. And the, the newer ones, the camera is under here, but this one was too old to have a camera. Um, these are the, the wheels, it's sort of, they are 16 inches. Um, these are like on the summer tires, and what else can I say? Antenna? Yes, antenna. Or that. 
It's black. Um, in terms of fuel economy, it's, it uses a lot since you have to fill it up with 98 octane according to Volkswagen, but I put 95 because I can't afford 98. Um, that heated seats, automatic climate control. It's a very nice car put together. You really feel the quality. The steering still feels old school, hydraulic. There's no power assisted. It still has power steering, of course. And it is uh, nicely weighted. Here's the for the fuel, all the window switches, the mirror control, the central locks, chrome handles. And this engine was uh, available, I think, worldwide. And one engine which you could not get in Europe was the five-cylinder, naturally aspirated, which it was only in North America, which I like, actually. It's a nice five-cylinder. And, uh, yeah, it's very nice.